Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren. Look what I got today. Crowd Cow, my first order from Crowd Cow. They're my one of my new partners I'm working with. If you haven't seen it on my uh, Facebook page and group, Crowd Cow. Check them out, link below. But we're gonna do an unboxing of my first order of Crowd Cow. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot and hotter. Sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, if you're not familiar with Crowd Cow, make sure you check out the link below. Check out their website. They're a new concept of uh, online meat providers that uh, works directly with smaller farms throughout the United States and outside the United States. I think they have one in Australia and they have one out in Japan where they get their um, Japanese Wagyu and olive Wagyu. So check out crowdcow.com. Check out the link below. Make sure you uh, check it all out. They, Like I said, they have all kinds of different um, beef. They've got Wagyu. They've got regular um, Black Angus, all different kinds of breeds, but you can also pick what farm you can get it from. They've got farms all over the United States, on the West Coast, East Coast, in the middle of the country that carry all different kinds of things, different cuts, different selections. They have American raised lamb, they have seafood, they have pork, chicken, pasture raised, 100% pasture raised chicken, heritage pork, check them out. Well, I got my first order I placed with them the other day, so I'm gonna go ahead and without further ado, go ahead and open this up. And I'll show you what I ordered from them because you'll see these in some future videos. I really like the concept and I'm gonna to try to have one of the CEOs on my podcast. All right, looks like one of the things you get from them is a handwritten note. <laughs> well, it looks like a handwritten note. It says, Darren, we're happy you joined us. You're one of the first people in Valrico to have ordered from Crowd Cow from these farms. And then he's got the name of the farms. Please check out Crowd Cow recipes. Thank you, Joe, from Crowd Cow. Joe is the CEO, and I think he's going to be on the podcast here shortly. So that's kind of nice. A little personalized letter. This insulation that they have in the box, it's not really styrofoam. It's biodegradable. You can actually uh, put it out in your uh, garden, they say, and it will uh, work like compost. It'll um, degrade really quick. You can dump it in water. They said, and it will also uh, also uh, degrade really quick. And that kind of tells you here on this thing, no styrofoam was harmed in the shipping of this craft meat. So it's eco-friendly, green cell foam packaging, biodegradable, water soluble. So they're really green with their packaging. So it goes with the whole concept of sustainability and there's probably about two pounds or so of dry ice in here I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that put that in my sink so it's got plenty of dry ice in there it's still plenty cold in this box crowd cow all right still some turn this box around make it a little easier for me to pull this stuff out so you can see it all right I ordered some autumn's harvest pork sausage we're gonna try that that's heritage pork sausage and I ordered some Wagyu um, chuck eye steaks so one two ordered three of those and it's frozen solid. Also ordered some 
dry aged Wagyu ground beef. That's going to be a great uh, video to do. Try to find my other, here's my other chuck eye steak. Got three chuck eyes. Ordered some lamb chops. I got six um, American lamb chops from a farm up in upstate New York. Ooh, like I said, that stuff is frozen solid. My other thing of pork sausage. And one other thing I got here, this is a Wagyu top sirloin, uh, sirloin tip steak. They only had one of these, so I was going to try to order a couple of them. But this will be like a lunch for me, I guess. But this is Wagyu sirloin tip steak from a farm up in out in Washington State. So we're going to try that. And that's it. That's my first order. Um, I didn't want to order a huge box because I just loaded up my freezer with a bunch of meat not too long ago. So I didn't want to have to try to make room. But definitely, I'm going to show you these the labels. And if you can see, it names the... Uh, the farm address, where it's at, what it is. These are loin lamb chops, American raised. That's what it looks like in the pack. They're vacuum sealed, frozen solid. I got three of those, so that'll be a great meal. And these Autumn's Harvest pork sausages. I said this is heritage pork. Can't wait to try those. The chuck eye steaks. And these are Wagyu chuck eye steaks. And if you know anything about chuck eye steaks, there's only a two in each cow. So I got three of these. And they're decent size. They're not huge. But I can't really tell how marbled they are because of the frost on it. But let's see if I can some of that off so you can see the marbling so yeah it's definitely a lot more marbled than a normal chuck eye steak and this is kind of what I'm looking to use too Ooh, this uh, dry aged Wagyu ground beef so this is going to be some great for some great burgers so this is from Kansas all right guys well that's it can't wait to do some videos on these um, great meats from crowd cow make sure like i said check them out down below check out their website um, click on the link below they have specials that they do all the time they have you know first time customer discounts free shipping on orders over a hundred dollars usually um, lots of different specials that they come up with especially the july 4th and they've got a few specials going on check it out Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you follow the Fire and Water Cooking Podcast. And like I said, the CEO of Crowd Cow will be on the podcast in about a month or so. So check it out. Make sure you follow us. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you on the next video.